Hello everyone, I am Chini A. Uli of BSIP and today I will show you how to solve for the percentage and probability of the standard normal distribution. But before we begin answering some problems, let me first explain what standard normal distribution is. So the standard normal distribution is a type of probability distribution that is often used in statistical analysis. So, madalas itong ginagamit sa mga hypothesis testing or data analysis kasi dito, maayos na na-represent yung mga data that is normally distributed or data that follows a normal pattern. Also, the standard normal distribution is a bell-shaped curve with a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1. The total, the total area of the bell curve naman is equal to 1 or 100%. So, dito sa picture, makikita natin na naka-section or nakahati yung area ng curve and each section ay may corresponding percentage na nakalagay. While ito namang nasa gilid, this is the formula na gagamitin natin to get the z-score. So, z is equal to x or the value minus the mean then divided by the standard deviation which is represented by the symbol sigma. So over here naman is a quick way or format to use in identifying which side or section is the shaded region in the area. So first is kapag may term na to the left of or lower than or less than, yun ito yung magiging representation niya. Para makuha yung area, kailangan lang natin hanapin yung corresponding z value dun sa table. Next is kapag to the right of or greater than or more than, ganito naman siya. You'll need naman to look for the corresponding z value sa table and then subtract 1 from it para makuha yung area. And lastly, kapag in between naman, ganito yung representation ng shaded region. You'll need to get both of the z value and then subtract them from each other. So ngayon, ito na yung z table value na binigit ko kanina. Ito yung gagamitin natin as reference para makuha natin yung area. Sa left is yung z-values kapag negative yung result ng z-score. And yung sa right naman is kapag positive. So now, let's move on and try to answer this problem. A study shows that the lengths of the careers of professional football players are nearby normally distributed with a mean of 6.1 years and a standard deviation of 1.8 years. What percent of professional football players have a career of more than 9 years? And if a professional football player is chosen at random, what is the probability that the player will have a career of between 3 and 4 years? So ngayon, unahin muna nating sagutan yung first question. Dito, ang hinahanap is yung percentage ng professional football players na may career for more than 9 years. So, gaya ng sinabi ko kanina, we will be using this formula para makuha natin yung z-score. So, input lang natin yung corresponding values dun sa equation. Which is yung value natin na 9 minus the mean na 6.1, then divided by the standard deviation na 1.8. 9 minus 6.1, this will be then 2.9. Then, divide natin by 1.8 and the answer will be 1.6. Next, gamitin na natin yung z-table para ma-determine natin yung z-value. So, since positive si 1.61, yung positive table yung gagamitin natin. Una, kukuhain natin yung 1.6 muna, and hanapin natin sa table yung row kung nasaan yung 1.6. Then, i-add natin yung remainder dun sa z, which is yung 0 0.01, at hanapin natin yung column niya. Now, tingnan natin kung saan value sila nag-intersect or nag-meet. Dito, sa 0.9436 sila nag-intersect. So, ito ngayon yung magiging area. Pero, as I said kanina, since more than 9 years yung hinahanap natin, this means na magsosubtract tayo ng 1 para makuha yung nasa right side of the curve. So, ayan. 1 minus 0.9463 which is then equal to 0 0.0537 but then since percent ang hinahanap sa problem yung multiply natin ngayon si 0 0.0537 sa 100 para makuha natin yung percentage 
the salt will be then 5.37%. Meaning na out of the professional football players, 5.37% lang sa kanila ang may career for more than 9 years. So ngayon kuha na natin yung sagot sa first problem, sagutan naman natin yung second problem. So ito naman, probability of a player to have a career between 3 and 4 years ang kailangan natin hanapin. So since dalawa yung values natin and in between siya, kailangan natin kuhain yung z-score nung 3 and 4. So 3 minus 6.1 divided by 1.8, this is equivalent to negative 3.1 over 1.8 or negative 1.72. Similar to the previous equation, 4 minus 6.1 divided by 1.8 is equal to negative 2.1 over 1.8 or 1.17. So, gamitin ulit natin yung z-table and hanapin natin yung corresponding values na ng dalawa. So, since negative yung sign nila, gamitin natin yung negative C table para ma-determine natin yung value. Una muna is yung negative 1.72. Kuhain natin yung negative 1.7 and then hanapin natin yung row niya. Tapos, yung remaining 0 0.02 naman, hanapin natin yung column part niya sa table. So, makikita natin dito na nag-intersect silang dalawa kay 0.0427. Then, gawin natin is ulitin lang natin yun kay negative 1.17. So, negative 1.1 plus 0 0.07, ang equivalent value niya sa table ay 0 0.1210. Ngayon, since nakuha na natin yung value ng 3 and 4, what we are going to do is to subtract them. 0 0.0427 minus 1210, which is then equal to 0 0.078. And again, since probability yung hinahanap, kailangan natin i-multiply yung answer sa 100. And with that, our final answer will be 7.83%. So, as a recap of our lesson, when asked to find the percentage of professional football players who have a career of more than 9 years, our answer will be 5.37%. And 7.83% naman ang probability of choosing a random player who has a career between 3 and 4 years. And that will be all for this video about our topic, Standard Normal Distribution. Again, I am Jenny A. Uy of ESIT and thank you for watching!